it's like every single time I go on YouTube or like one is low key take a little break from even though I'm close to finishing search books videos or well, video of the 66 videos. I wanted to start the bizarre bump stuff, but when I tried to. He uploaded a new video. This is scary comp version 93. I think I might be accurate when it comes to either him releasing number 100. He might do the 100 for his 2024 best of. I feel like he's leaving out a lot of great videos for a 2024 best of. And that'll be number 100. Or either he might leave 100 to be the last video of the year and then the best of. Or he does the best of. And the first video for 2025 will be 100 because 25 goes into 100 four times. So as you leave the fourth, you're entering the 25th with 100. So it's like those numbers coincide because 25 times four is 100. This is going to be my guess now. I believe he's going to leave number 100 either for the last video of the year or the first video of the year. Before I start the play button to record this reaction, I found something at a store that became one of my personal favorites. You probably have it. It probably is a branch or a chain, but that big chain has like Walmarts and ShopRites, but it's called Wegmans. Wegmans is a little bit more of a bougie market with way better quality items and more fresher ingredients and more fresher produce and especially the dairy section. The reason why I'm discussing this, I discovered crack in that store. I consider this crack because it is fucking delicious. You have this cheese, which is encrusted espresso. That's actually espresso, a part of the cheese, and it's aged in this espresso like powder, which means the cheese itself tastes a little bit like coffee. Well, espresso to be more specific because coffee and espresso are different. Espresso is a bit more bolder, a little bit more robust, a little bit more stronger. Well, coffee seems to be a little bit more lighter and a little bit acidic. So this is like beyond crack. I'm a fool for coffee. I'm a bigger fool for cheese. And if you can mix coffee and cheese, we have my heart. I used to say the only way to my heart was Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm gonna add another item to it. If you want access to my heart, either give me Reese's cups, or you give me espresso cheese. You want to know how truth that sentence is? My wife got me this cheese. Hence the word wife. She got me that cheese. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. Let's just get into Bizarre Bo's video today, which is nine scary videos. This is version 93 with nine videos and stories. Let's get into it. On July 1st of 2024, an ambulance driver stands far away from his vehicle while sounding immensely terrified. According to the driver, he had to pull over immediately as it was just then that something baffling had occurred. In his own words, he was driving back to base when suddenly he saw something in the back of the ambulance. Upon realizing what it was, he stops the vehicle and jumps out in a panic state. Now, due to a lack of parking, he parks the ambulance inside an alleyway, but even from a distance, he can't seem to look away from the truck. Clearly, something has left him deeply unsettled. Kaka push is his footage. Take a look. Kaka push. Ain't no way. Right, so, I'm not sure how to um how to talk about this, but well. First of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. Uh oh. So. So as we driving back to base, mm -hmm. I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Like. I mean, it's ambulance. So a I need lot. to turn this engine off, though, because like. We're gonna be stranded out here. 
I'm not trying to go back on this track. I'm looking at the window. And if they move back there. Remember, this is covered by the city. Tax curse paid for it. the same I would be it I'll tell you that story in a second my man left his phone oh he came back with the phone that was like something from the back I was running up I don't know if you see it, but can you, can y'all see that back door? Like, it just, oh, shit. What your finger, motherfucker, so I can see? Like, it just flew open, like, can y'all, oh, oh. nah, what the You gotta zoom out, brother, because it's like, not even that. What was that? Can y'all see it? Can't Oh. Nah, hell no. Nah. Someone by. Hey, nah. Hey, good luck. It's no wonder why the EMT was immensely afraid of going back to the ambulance. Something appears to have been inside. Nope. Although we don't see a face as the EMT claims to have seen earlier, we do see what looks like a shadowy figure moving back and forth. It appears to dart from side to side, as if being stuck inside. The EMT driver thinks that whatever this was had been the culprit behind the cabinet door swinging open on its own, which he says had been the loud thump heard inside. But as for the mysterious face he'd seen earlier, that remains a mystery. Some believe that maybe this may have been the spirit of a deceased individual who unfortunately passed away inside the ambulance. While many think this, others have no idea what this could have been. Whether ghost or something else, the EMT was just glad to have someone from work pick up the truck. To this day, the question remains, just what exactly had been inside the ambulance? Not my battle, not my war. Listen. I may not have gone through a spiritual uh, battle war fight in my own home. No, knocking on wood. I battled with something even more scarier than that. A fucking bee. Right where I'm at. A bee flew in. I'm guessing this is before I had the reverse fan I have now, which covers the whole entire window. Before I just had the regular uh, circular blades that once it stops, it, you know, it's still open to the outside. That's the one I had before. So it kind of left the gap into my office. If you kind of catch my drift. So I'm guessing when I turned the power off for the night and went to bed and woke up. Uh, maybe a bee decided to walk in or well, fly in and get comfortable. I was not recording. I remember I was editing some footage. This is like a, what, 2022? This was in 2021. I was less than a year into the apartment I am in now. The bee flew past my ear, hit my monitor. I recognized that it was a bee because that bitch was huge and I saw the stinger. Uh, my phone is typically in front of my face. Or I have it to the side or whatever, depending on the mood I am in. I'm trying to keep my eye on certain stuff. So there's times where I have my phone directly down in front of me, like how I'm looking down now. Sometimes it's to my phone because I get notifications, family messaging me, and so on, whatever. As I was editing, a bee flew in. I did not give a fuck about anything. My phone is my will. I'm never not with my phone. I got the fuck out of my room. 
And I left my phone to the bee. The bee inherited my phone for a good three to four hours. Because when my wife was at work, I was sleeping in my office. So the broom was actually in my office. That's my typical weapon towards things that flies. So I waited for a little while so it could be calm and chill, whatever. And, you know, but I, I was me being in this office now. I killed it. it. Took me a while, but I killed it and got my phone back. Yeah. Us, us minorities, we don't fuck around with things that we just don't like. Ghosts, we ain't gonna ask no questions. We're getting the fuck out. B, I'm getting the fuck out. A wasp, I'm getting the fuck out. A fucking hornet, I'm getting the fuck out. I'm not gonna be like, oh, but you know, you could just protect your, you could kill it or try to get. No, I'm out. Nope, just out. EMS, ambulances, deals with a lot of death. Well, yeah, the ambulance itself deals with a lot of death because sometimes people are pronounced dead during the ride of the ambulance because depends on how severe the injury was. I'm not too surprised that an ambulance could be haunted. In the following video, three friends are alone at home when one friend decides to call their mom after something scary had occurred. I should be home in about 10 minutes, so I need you to stay calm though, okay? Okay, alright. So calm, quiet, keep the door locked. Alright, do not go out of the room whatsoever. All three friends are locked up in this room, and for good reason. Earlier, they heard a loud crash from downstairs and other noises emanating from all over the house. They had thought someone had broken in, which is why the police were called. Does it sound like glass? Was it metal? What, what does it sound like? I think it was just like a, a big thud and then... So you heard glass shatter? Yeah, yeah. I mean, now this is where things started to get strange, because apparently, after searching the whole place, the police found no signs of forced entry or any clues to suggest that someone broke into the house. With no indications of any trespassers, the police leave the property. However, after watching the footage recorded by one of the friends, the teens noticed something very alarming. Before the police arrived, all three friends decided to investigate the noises and presumably take matters into their own hands if needed. But during this time, something happens that prompts the friend who lives in this house to grab his dog and pack his things. They were spooked, to say the least. I mean, yeah, my friend's house was haunted. Getting the fuck out. Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay. 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 All right, I'll see you soon. I love you. Uh, I love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. 15 minutes later. I'll do it for you. Wipe your glass. I mean, your camera. You want to see the shriek. Was it a lamp? questions Apparently, <laughs> person runs you run something moving in the dark although we don't see it on camera something else is seen that none of the friends had noticed until watching this video much later in case you missed it this is what was caught okay Eerily, something can be seen moving behind the railing. In a swift motion, this mysterious object passes by without making a sound. It almost seems to be floating given how it seemingly glides. But by far, the creepiest thing about this is that a face can be made out. It's hard to see at first, but watching this again, certain features that a face would have can be seen briefly. Oh. Its uncanny motion and closeness to the ground have led the group to believe that a ghost was caught on camera. 
To them, it looks as though a floating head had passed by. If only they had seen this before the police arrived. As they state, who knows what they would have said about this. While the supposed shadowy figure they saw was enough to scare them, this would have definitely scared the living daylights out of them. Now, they would have saw the now, footage. there haven't been any updates, but until then, let me know your thoughts on this one. Hell no. Brother, like, even if you're like my brother, like, refer, like homie homies, I ain't going to your house no more. Uh, we're not chilling at your spot no more. I ain't sleeping over no more. Either you come to my house or we're not friends no more. Simple as that. Either we chill at my place or the other dude's place. Or we get the fuck out of my life. I ain't even on them ghosts. But even though sometimes ghosts has attachment to a person. But after this event, if you want to go to my house or the other dude's house, we're going to church. We're blessing you. I'm going to throw you in the bottle of bottle. We're going to throw you in that tub of holy water so you can get baptized. And then maybe I'll consider inviting you over to my home. But until then, either you burn the house down or you purify yourself with holy water. That's my requirement if I was your friend. That, mm, I don't know. It seems a little genuine. So I don't really have much critiques to try to override it. Again, it could probably be them wanted to go viral and set things up. Who knows? But to get cops involved, and if it ever gets found out that it was a hoax, that's kind of a crime. You can't falsely report something. Even though it's for clicks and views, it's still a crime. If they're gonna get officers, I think it's a little bit more legit. But Gen Z and Alpha tends to do a lot of stuff out of pocket for attention. So at that quinceanera, oh, that 15 year old girl. Which is fucking disappointing and just sad. On a Thursday afternoon, a mother walks out of a house in a panic frenzy, as it was just then that something baffling had occurred. Outside on the back patio, the family's dog started acting strange. They were barking at something that didn't appear to be there. Although unfazed by the dog's behavior, considering that they often do this in the back patio, the mother decides to record this video, and for good reason. Whenever their dog starts to act up, something very strange happens. That. As the mother takes this video to show others what usually happens, this is captured. Bring to the vet. Look, you guys, it rocks, but then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's a <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, I know, I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. I thought you said the dog's name is Blue Seven. Sick on Blue. It's Blue. Creepy, right? Katie, I guess they do have a ghost bit. No, mommies. Get him, Blue. I'm shutting the door. And uh, she sounds stated, Californian. If it wasn't for the dog's reaction, this wouldn't have been as strange. Clearly, something had set off the dog. The chair suddenly stopping on its own, coupled with the dog's behavior, has led viewers to believe that this was paranormal. It's a cute the name for a dog, though. Think so, but any ideas on what exactly had been on the chair remains unknown. Whether supernatural or not, this um, video remains a mystery. Bro, call me racist all you want, but I know what's accurate with the Hispanic. I was like, no mames. I heard it in the voice. I knew I was fucking correct. I know my people. You know, I'm not Mexican myself. I know my Latin people. Not majority of South America. But I know my major Latin countries that I really I'm that I relate to. I'm Caribbean Spanish. I'm Puerto Rican and Cuban. I can tell the big difference between Cubans, Puerto Ricans, and Dominicans with the accents. And then I know Mexicans because I am friends with a lot of Mexicans. So when it comes to a certain way they talk, especially in California. I'm not so sure where this girl lives, but I bet it's somewhere West Coast. I deserve a medal for that. I can spot my people and hear my people. But this kind of stuff, rocking chair, could be planned, maybe not, but the dog did react. So kind of leads me to kind of not question it. She didn't know when it rocks. It just starts recording and it stops. Could be a hoax to be set up. Maybe it's true. I don't know. Maybe down the line, what I'll do for these videos is I'll have like a belief factor. 
and obviously a number 10 means I 100% this is real. Number one is just bullshit. With this, I guess I'll start it now. Fuck it. We're already two videos in. That's going to be my thing from now on. I'm just going to rate at one out of 10. How believable this is. To me, this is like a three. Blue. Six. Now, this next video was suggested to me by someone who wishes to remain anonymous. According okay. to them, they had found this video on social media with little to no context. It seems to have been posted by someone who was either at a clinic or a hospital sitting patiently in the waiting room. Yeah. However, something sitting about this patiently face because just they're seems a patient. Off. The person who <laughs> took this seems to have been waiting here for quite some time with no one else around. Lacking other people in this room, the video gets a whole lot strange when this is captured. What is Take captured? I am looking. That's a clinic. Oh. My left ear loves this video. All the audio is to my left. Oh, that's a... It's a mist. Hmm, it's like an apparition going left and right. Somehow, a shadow appears with no one else around. The whole space is entirely devoid of any patience, yet strangely, a silhouette is cast. Initially, it seems as if the shadow was cast by someone off camera, but when the person filming pans the phone to show the whole space, no one is there. No person or object is moving like the shadow on the wall, and neither mm. is there anyone or anything disappearing before reappearing again. The shadow seems to be something of its own. While it's hard to say what exactly was caught on camera, the mystery alone has led many to believe that this may just be something beyond explanation. But as always, let me know your thoughts on this one. Again, the location where death could be at a high number. This is a clinic and death could be somewhat low. Not impossible, not out of the ordinary because still a place where people go for care. Still a lot of activities of people being deceased could happen there. So, I mean, he pans to the right. I don't know. I mean, the skeptic part of my brain is thinking, the shadow is happening here. There could be somebody in the background standing on his chair or on a stool, whatever, and reflecting off of this mirror. This, like I said, there's a mirror right here. It doesn't take a physicist or a biochemist or somebody who's prevails like fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson or fucking Bill Nye the science guy to know that reflections are a thing. You could shine a light on a glass and it reflects. Maybe they have a light shining on the thing and somebody's walking behind the thing, which reflects the light into this and sh throw in the shadow being casted here. That could be one explanation. That's not a thing. Maybe this place is filled with light because I know most hospitals, their waiting room is just a lot of lights. They have light panels. They have this light, that light. There's so many luminance in a hospital or a clinic setting. It's normal. My wife works at a hospital. My mom works in the clinic. I'm very familiarized with the hospital and healthcare system in the settings. It doesn't take me by surprise if maybe someone's walking behind a guy and is casting a shadow either from behind him or through this little mirror. If it's not, then it won't surprise me the spirits here. My believability number, I'll say five because the setting and uh possible explanations on june 4th of 2024 a video was taken inside a public restroom where something pretty creepy took place the man who recorded this is known as axel loza and based on his voice alone you can tell that he's deeply troubled by something axel states that no one else is in the restroom except him now this is odd considering that he just heard noises coming from one of the stalls but each one is empty. So, as an attempt to get this on camera, he begins to record and Bro. captures this. I'd rather pee in the bucket, a bottle on my hands. Okay. 
y se está tocando la puerta, pero quiero que vean que pues no hay nada, vean, ahí está mi reflejo, mi reflejo, pero vean de este lado, pues aquí no hay nada, vean, acá tampoco, vean, aquí tampoco hay nada, y aquí pues tampoco, vean, y acá el lugar es bastante pequeño y está mi reflejo, pero vean, hoy escuchar o sea, escucha oh. nah you burn it you throw a flash in it above the thing escuchar oh bitch no hay nada you saw that bitch Bitch, I saw the eye. Startling to hear the banging I saw just Gaba. We see this. A face suddenly appearing in a stall that was clearly empty. Oh! It happens quickly. Ooh, but I'm not, not gonna so look at that. That was, ooh, it. the Only face. Only do we realize what was seen until after ooh. it happens. Or at least, that's what happened with Axel. It was only after reviewing the footage that he noticed the face. Just like viewers, he was left terrified by what was caught behind the door. Like something out of a nightmare. Nah, a no, pale no, face no. with wide open eyes just disappears without a trace. Now, Axel hasn't said much or given updates on this occurrence, but with or without further context, the video itself is still pretty terrifying. Yes. Don't show me that again. Oh, that's the first video in a long while that actually got me super paranoid and scared. Wow. Jesus, that really, really rocked my world. I sound like a fucking boomer saying that, but Jesus. Ooh, I didn't expect that. I mean, the thing was, no, but I can't, ex but it's like a female. I think a little female. I looked away real fast. He's by himself. He's showing everything. I didn't see no visible cuts because I was looking, even though, yes, I looked away from the screen, but from my main screen, just to give you guys background context, I have three monitors and two of them are vertical, like how I did this with TikToks. And my main screen is horizontal. My vertical monitor to my right, which is, which is the left for you guys, on my right side is a monitor where I have my recording program. And it displays what I'm looking at. It records the camera you see here separately and it records the screen I have separately. I have two screens. 1080 by 1920 recorded at the same exact time so I could move my camera around and watch these videos just to speed up the context when you see me looking like this it's because I'm looking at the smaller screen version because I'm kind of bitching out so it's like when even though I'm watching a smaller screen on my left side there is really no indication that a cut happened Typically, when people move fast, it's easy to hide a cut to another clip. But everything seemed like it was one clip, one recording, one instances of him turning off that bathroom. But when he was going up to show what's in that specific stall, I didn't really catch any cuts where the person was in there could have sneaked out and so on because it was just so smooth so the believability of this possibly i would say more on a six to seven range i'm a skeptic not many things would be close to eight or nine or ten this would be more of a six in the following clip a man is in his basement after having heard a strange noise like i was saying earlier um most of the stuff does happen down here now the man this already knows that something okay. isn't right with his basement, which is why he takes oh, this video. Basement. Ever since moving in, both he and his family have been experiencing a plethora of inexplicable happenings. But luckily, this time, he was able to get something on camera. The year is 2017, and with only a few months living there, he can already sense that something strange is about to happen. He gets his phone and captures this. Seven years ago. This stuff does happen down here. I'm old. Um, and you can't really... There. That's freaky stuff right there, man. <clears throat> the 
just so comic collective about it. Yep, that's what you call. New call. You're so calm. Oh, out. Boy, here we go with the door again. I would have been out. Yeah. Oh. Oh no! It's like somebody going like this. That door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close. Stay like that. Oh, there you go. Let go. Of it. Oh no! Never mind. I think I'm hallucinating. I think I have schizophrenia. Now, taking into account that this isn't something new to the man, this occurrence doesn't scare Obviously. him. Obviously. But he still finds it pretty baffling. And he finds it even more so when considering that the door that just opened is extremely heavy. According to him, he can barely open it himself despite being quite big. Show me now, it. Now, with happenings like Prove this, it. one can totally understand why he and his family have left this place. Although taken in 2017 and living somewhere else now, this footage continues to baffle him to this day. Hmm. Imagine, yeah, it was like every time from the pause. Imagine being the new homeowner and finding that video to go viral out of nowhere after you bought it from, you know, him. Imagine, like, you motherfucker, you may pay a little bit above market price. You fucked me over with a haunted home. And by the time you see the video, they probably experienced some shit, anyways. But damn, imagine just being the homeowner after he left and dipped and seeing that for the first time. Like, wait. It looks familiar. Oh, that is familiar. Oh. Oh, honey, back it up. Let's get the fuck out. In this next video, a woman is standing outside her house during a rainstorm when she notices something highly unusual. The woman in this video is known as Amanda, and while standing on her patio, something close by catches her attention. In fact, she was left shaken up after getting a clear view of what she was seeing. Taking a closer look, she sees this. Please tell me y'all see this. Just watch. Watch straight out into that yard. Ah. Uh, look, you see it? Look. Yeah. Like a person in white. And it happens again. Look. 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 See? See? And I'm telling you right now, ignore my dogs. But look, man. I guess we'll see the circle. I think it's time to move. Now, without much lighting, it might be hard to spot what exactly was being seen. But with a few edits, it becomes apparent that something had appeared. It's as if someone or something dressed in white was in the distance. Not sure if she was just seeing things, Amanda shares this video online and immediately gets comments from those who say that they too see the white figure. But yeah. of course, let me know what you think. It's like a Is a figure seen as many believe? Or might there be some explanation for this mysterious incident? Like most clips, this one has yet to be solved. It's like a woman in white. Uh, I don't care if I get canceled for this damn joke. I heard the person's name and the first thought in my head was, if I ever become trans, I'll name myself Amanda. Because when people start questioning me, I could just tell them, well, I used to be a man, duh. No longer a man. But I used to be a man, duh. All right. I'll delete my channel. I'll delete my TikTok. I know it's not funny. It's... Why is my number... Why is it going down? Wait, stop fall. I'm falling. <laughs> it's all jokes and good fun. People's lives and what they do doesn't bother me. But this clip, I mean, lightning outside. I'd rather be inside. But sometimes you can see stuff when it comes to, I guess, a storm. People, whenever they try to explain the spiritual world for these investigations, they use a lot of technology. They use a lot of EMFs or EVs or this or batteries or uh, statics or this, everything or um, radio waves. There's a lot of technology use when it comes to or electrical technology uses when it comes to investigations so you're basically in this electrical storm because obviously this thunder or lightning well lightning without lightning you can't have thunder so you have all these lightning strikes happening in distance or in the skies because all this electricity surges 
I wouldn't be surprised if any spiritual uh, appearances happens because it's during a electrical storm. Believability rate, I'll give it, eh, four. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, I don't got, go I don't got milk, but I got scary videos. Well, I had cheese at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Let's get back. Number two. Now, this next video comes from Jalen Love, who, although has no idea what was captured, is extremely unsettled by this footage. She claims that no one else had been in the house except her two sisters, who are seen on camera. They had just come back from somewhere at around 10 p.m. when the security camera inside their living room recorded the following. Now, it's worth noting that this isn't the first time something scary had occurred. Only a few weeks prior to this incident, someone broke into their house. It's for this reason that they've set up cameras around their home in case it happens again. But this time, it appears that something else other than a burglar was captured. The two sisters enter inside, leaving the front door open for Jalen, who is still getting out of the car. As Jalen takes her time to come inside, this happens. The fuck? Behind this door, a dark figure is seen. It's worth pointing out that no one is seen behind the door before it's open. Nothing apparent stands out. True. Until something eventually does. Whatever this is, just stands there while just... seemingly hiding itself from the camera, or at least a part of it, as only partially do we see the figure. Seeing this, Jalen and her sisters were freaked out. They state that they wouldn't have seen this if it wasn't for what occurred later that night. According to them, they had heard strange noises coming from downstairs, which made them check their surveillance cameras. But while checking the footage from earlier that night, they see this. A dark silhouette that disappears in the blink of an eye. Like many, she now believes that something unexplainable was captured. But as always, I'll let you be the judge. Was a ghost caught on camera? Or was something else captured? No. No. I mean... One way to kind of deter people from attempting to mark their territory in your own home. There's a few signs you could have in your property that kind of deters them. Either obviously security system, the ADT, or beware a dog, or even having a sign stating that you are being recorded. That will a thousand and twenty percent deter people from trying to enter your home. So be rare dog, ADT or any other security systems you can have planted in front of your house or on the front window of your home, or just put a sign saying you are being recorded. Even if you can just have a prop camera to put in your porch, on the side of the house, in the back of the house, they don't know it's prop. Those are great ways to deter, especially putting it in places where maybe you have good access to your home. That's a little tip from me to you guys for your own protection. This instance is too for a ghost in your home. Burn it. Insurance. Get your money back. Buy a new home. Or have them rebuild the house. If the house burns, uh, insurance could rebuild it for you. Fire is a purity. So you purify your home, you just have a new home. It's around 9 p.m. on a Friday night when two sisters are settling in for the evening. During this time, their mom had gone out to walk their dog as she does every night. Okay. But while both sisters are alone at home, something happens that leaves them extremely unsettled. Now the mother in question, known as Isabel Katz, had sent me this video in the hopes that someone could explain her footage. She and her kids live in a house that might be haunted, according to her. Strange things often happen, and she doesn't know what to do. From a sliding cabinet door that is often found mm -hmm. open after being closed shut, to mm -hmm. mysterious noises heard at night, Isabel is certain that something unexplainable is happening. One night, while Isabel walks the family dog, her two children are alone at home when this is captured. Sorry to pause it randomly before the things happen. I don't care how fucking old I get. I don't care if I'm already a father or a grandfather. If I had a house and I have to turn the light off on the stairs like that, I'm fucking booking it. 
I'm shooting the lights out and I'm running. That's just in our nature. If you're a millennial, you understand. If you're early Gen Z, you understand. If I see my background like so, as you see on the screen right now, if that's my background, I'm going up the stairs by myself. I'm sprinting. Nah. Nah. Bizarre, I swear to God, it something pops out. I'm looking at the mirror just in case anything pops up in the mirror. Taka push, taka push. Hell no. That's what I said. I run. I'll run. This video that their mother knew something paranormal had occurred. At first, one of her children sees something that terrifies them beyond belief. According to her, she had seen what looked like a tall figure standing inside the master bedroom. It wasn't exactly clear as her daughter states, but she knew something was there. And her sister can attest to this, as she too had seen something tall inside the room. Following that, the sound of their cabinet door sliding open is heard on camera. Understandably, the whole family was freaked out, if not spooked by this incident. Not much else is known about this clip, but Isabel hopes that someone could explain her footage as she's not sure what to do or what was caught on camera. My kids will be my baby. So I will believe my kids. I may not attest the whole spiritual faith element of my life. I may not attest the whole ghost element of my life. But if my kid said they saw a ghost, I'll believe them. I'll see what I can do to help them feel comfortable and see if I can solve it. Either again, I burn the house down. <laughs> and a serious note, I'll entertain what they heard, saw or felt and see what I could do to help because kids are obviously innocent by nature. And they're molded by how you treat them. A lot of people who are watching right now, they know that when you deal with parents who are too strict or who don't listen to you or who ignore you, you become very rebellious. You become very independent. You become very emotionless. And then when you get into relationships, it's kind of hard because you didn't get the love you want from your parents. You didn't get the attention you want from your parents. Whenever you try to express yourself, they shut you down and you feel like people who you're with may do that to you. That is why if my kids say they saw a fucking eight feet tall bumblebee boogeyman, I'll be like, baby, you are correct. Let's go find this eight foot boogeyman bumblebee. You got to earn their trust. And for those who are dealing with that kind of stuff with their parents, just to kind of give you a little bit of a eye opener. Your parents were parents as long as you've been a daughter or a son or a child. How long you have been their daughter, their son, or their kid is the same amount of time they've been a dad or a mom. Try to understand that too. This is all she wrote for Scary Comp version 93. This one was good. This genuinely scared me. The one that the bathroom one? No, just no. As I was making this video, Search Spook just uploaded. So I'll probably watch that next. That'll be for this Friday. 
the next Friday, I'll continue off with the last two parts of Thor's Spook Season 6 videos, which will be 22 to 12 and 11 to 1. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. I love your faces, and I'm out. Peace.